Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be uh, joining the army. Yes, that's right. Um, we're going to be talking about this engine right here, which is a U.S. Army Transportation Corps uh, Pacific. But uh, we're also going to be talking about or showing you uh, my collection of military flat cars and their loads. So I've been uh, collecting military flat cars with their loads like, you know, rocket launchers, tanks, you know, you name it from MTH for, you know, quite a long time. And um, I really didn't have anything to pull them with. And MTH just recently uh, had this run they did of these heavy Pacifics. Uh, it's kind of one of their last steam runs that they've done. You know, MTH, the steam is like sort of far and few between right now. So um, we'll talk about uh, this particular engine that was just came out. but. Anyway, they had a version that was the U.S. Army Transportation Corps. And I'm like, perfect. I have all these flat cars that I didn't really have an engine to pull them with. So I'm going to use this to pull on my flat cars. So this is a perfect chance for me to showcase this engine and then the uh, flat cars with all their loads that I have for the military stuff. So, um, And uh, that's what we're going to do today. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so as I said, this is a heavy Pacific. This is a USRA, United States uh, Railroad Administration uh, engine. Would have been made by either Baldwin or Alco. I think this one is actually an Alco. Uh, but these heavy Pacifics, you know, uh, probably would have been more suited transporting troops uh, than all this heavy equipment you're about to see. But still, it just it just fits because of the uh, the road name on it on the tender and everything. So that's why I, I picked it. But anyway, this is a premier PS3 engine. Uh, has all the bells and whistles, just like you know any uh, Lino Legacy engine. Uh, has a smoke. It's got it actually has whistle steam on this one. So all the features and um, you know again heavy Pacifics. The thing about the Pacifics I like is they're just a nice size engine. Right? If you don't have a giant layout with big curves like 72 and above, right, or um, you just want something that's a nice size engine, you know, it's got it's got a, a good size to it, but it's not too too big and it's not too too small. So it's just that medium uh, sort of spot that these engines take up these Pacifics. So that's why I love them. And um, like I said, MTH, you know, these are in the dealers now. Um, they're selling out pretty much very quickly. So if you're interested in one of these heavy Pacifics, you should check with your dealer. I got this at Just Trains, and I do not think there's a lower price out there. They were the lowest I found anywhere uh, for these heavy Pacifics. So you might want to check them out. They're Just Trains in Delaware. But uh, really nice engines and... Um, uh, again, uh, MTH is sort of far and few between with steam right now because uh, some of the tooling they sold and whatever they have left, you know, they have to, you know, they'll decide when they want to do runs on them. So this is kind of one of the, uh, so far, I think the last steam that's come out from them. Um, but let's take a look at the engine itself and then we can fire up. You can hear the sounds and everything. So just like any uh, Premier engine, lots of, uh, you know, details, you know, on the engine itself. Lots of front boiler details. You got all the lines they uh, do running from the bell all the way back to the cab. You got the whistle here. Uh, one thing I didn't know, I'm, I'm kind of new to the MTH engines because I didn't have a DCS on my system for years. And now that I do, it's kind of opened up a new world. But these are kind of cool because their whistle steam, on at, at least on this one, the hole for the, the smoke is actually in the whistle itself where typically... Like on Lionel's model, they put the hole like right below the whistle, you know, in the shell, the body of the uh, the engine. So kind of neat. It comes directly right out of there. Um, but again, they got, you know, some great detail here. You got this little hatch that actually can stay in the up position here. Really neat. And, uh, you know, on the side here, we got uh, really great uh, driver detail. We got white walls on this particular version here. Yeah, just really nicely done, and just, you know, these Premier engines are, you know, at the same level as any Legacy engine from Lionel, so. Real cool load on the tender here. It's 
got, you know, rear marker lights just like any other engine, you know. Operating coupler, the whole deal. They do have a little uh, controls here for smoke volume and sound right under this little hatch here. One thing I really like about the Premier engines I've noticed is on the engine antennas, on the PS3s where there's no cable, uh, they have the, the little like uh, platform, you know, that's more realistic, right? Because on most of our models, right, the, uh, the person would have to jump across to the uh, tender to get the coal and stuff like that. So really, that's a really nice little detail. Uh, that I don't think I've seen that on Lionel engines. I could be wrong, but I don't think I've seen that. Not in any ones I have anyway, so. And then there's tons of cab detail. There's actually two figures inside here. So, yeah, just, uh, you know, it's, it's a standard Pacific. I mean, uh, MTH has done these before. It's nothing brand new or anything like that. But it's just a really nice, uh, really nice model uh, overall. And uh, if you like heavy Pacifics, uh, yeah, you should go... Uh, Check out your dealers right now. Uh, there was a, oh God, there must have been five, six, maybe more different uh, ones they did. There's like a blue B&O one, uh, which was pretty nice. I saw that at Just Trains too. Uh, but they have a couple different uh, road names and things. I know, um, I think uh, Pete was telling me they were selling out really fast. So uh, if you do want one of these, you should probably check out your dealer uh, pretty soon. But all right, so why don't we just uh, fire it up so you can see the effects on it. And then what we'll do is we'll start uh, loading our, or attaching our uh, flat cars to it. And then I'll show you uh, all the different military uh, pieces we have. All right, let's start her up. to MTH so um, but it has a cool little feature on the whistle here um, take a look at the general order or if you just blow the whistle it just blows like normal but if you hold down the whistle for a long time and then let it go it actually does a couple little toots afterwards I'm just gonna hold it down for a while Which is kind of cool. It does two little toots after the thing automatically. You don't have to actually do anything special with the remote. And that's not even using the soft key ones. That's just holding down the whistle button. So I don't know if that's on all uh, MTH Steam, but <clears throat> it's kind of cool. All right, so let's check out the, uh, the rolling stock. So these are all MTH uh, rolling stock. Uh, they're from some of our set breakouts. Uh, and some are individual ones that MTH released, but these are the uh, the uh, U.S. Army uh, rolling stock that I have currently. I'm still looking for a very specific caboose, which I don't have yet, but someday, hopefully, I'll find it uh, to complete the set. And there's one or two that I don't have. Take on that water level, will you? Um, I'm looking for the half tracks. Also, there's a really cool flat car with half track vehicles on it, and uh, I have a Sherman tank one coming. So. There's still a couple more, but in general, uh, this is what I got so far. So let's just uh, take a look at them.
right, so if you couldn't name them all, let's go through them just so you know what each one is. All right, so the first car we got, this is a PS1 box car. This is MTH Premier. It's really nice, large, really big box car. Uh, great graphics on it, so can't beat that one. This one is, uh, these are M60 tanks. Great detail, die cast, really heavy. Uh, again, all these are Premier. These are 105 millimeter howitzers. And then we've got the uh, WC54 Dodge ambulances. Of course, we've got Humvees. And then these are M10 Wolverine tanks. Great track uh, detail on these and stuff. Now this is actually the only Rail King version and it's a maxi stack car. Couldn't find one in Premier, but it looks great and it uh, fits the size. These of course are military transport Jeeps. And then we got striker vehicles. These are really cool. I really like these. These are uh, six by six tank trucks. Of course, you got to have uh, M270 rocket launchers. And then we uh, finish it up with the uh, GMC Duck. Now, like I said, there's a couple more that I don't have. And there's a very uh, specific uh, steel caboose that I'm looking for made by MTH also. But uh, once I track that down, this will be a nice, uh, a great military uh, U.S. Army set.
All right, guys, well, that's it for the Army Train. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video on this uh, uh, really nice uh, MTH Premier um, Heavy Pacific, great engine, uh, and all the uh, U.S. Army cars that uh, MTH has been releasing over the years. Uh, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, there's nothing cooler than watching a really long uh, Army Train with all these different types of uh, equipment being pulled, so really cool. Um, like I said, I've got a couple more pieces and, of course, that caboose to, to match with it that I'm still looking for. But hopefully York or some other train show will uh, produce that and I'll be able to pick one of those up. But, uh, yeah, that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, go ahead and put some comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Peace, guys.